Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Denise and today I'm bringing you a lazy day Pinterest workout. So my body has not been cooperating the last couple months um, and so I haven't been able to do my favorite thing which is hot yoga. So I wanted to do this for you today. Hopefully it'll motivate me as well as motivate you guys for a quick and easy workout at home. So here's the random Pinterest workout that I picked and I'll link uh, below where I found it. And so I will be adjusting the, um, the numbers a little bit, the count, and a few of the exercises, which I believe um, aren't the best for you. So I, I am doing some adjustments. So just pay attention if you can, and if you'd like to join me, please do. So as you can see, I'm overly excited to start. <laughs> um, starting off with 80 jumping jacks. Next up is 40 vertical leg crunches. This is my interpretation of them. I'm sure there's there's another way you could do them, but. So you want your legs semi-straight. I, I keep a slight bend in my knees and um, my hands underneath my hips. And you're just shooting those legs, those heels straight up to the ceiling. This gives you a good uh, ab. next on the list it says do uh, 20 crunches but crunches are not the best thing for you anything that where you're moving your spine um, through weighted positions is not the best um, so I am going to do 12 reverse crunches instead and so this way just my lower body is moving so still get a good ab contraction here I'm just bringing my knees up to my chest and slowly touching the floor with my toes. So you'll really feel it in the lower part of your abs here. And I am doing 12 of those now. So I just the, the number here. So this is supposed to be a lazy day workout, so I definitely I I lowered the count. List tricep dips and you're more than welcome to do them off of a chair like most people do um, I will show you here you can do them on the floor like this in this position but as you can see the shoulder is behind the body so you're overly stressing the shoulder behind the body where you shouldn't be so um, I'm going to do an alternative that I've learned <laughs> We call these 10 forehead push-ups, or my husband likes to say, or oil drillers. <laughs> so basically get in kind of a downward dog facing pose. Spread your feet the width of your mat. And then you're doing push-ups just to touch your, your forehead to the mat. And I'm doing 10 of these. Alright, next up is 20 squats, just regular squats. And with squats, you always want to line your feet up with your hips. And as you go down, you can have uh, multiple ways of putting your hands either in front of you or on your hips. So my favorite thing to do is holding a medicine ball, which I didn't have with me. See, sometimes I put my hands in the front or shoulder height. And I'm going to turn to the side for you guys to show you um, what your lower body should look like. So the hips should be going backwards. Now I am very tight in my hip flexors in the front, so that's why my body is bending forward so far. That's something I need to work on myself. All 
All right, next up, 10 side lunges to each side. So when you do this, you want to take a big step to one side. You're bending the knee, and then the trail leg is staying straight. And you're pushing your weight back so that your hips are back behind your knee. So 10 to each side. So here I'll show you a side angle. My hips are going back and my knees are staying right over my ankle. <laughs> Scout keeps getting in the way as always. Next up is 15 side leg lifts. We're going to start with the right side. So laying on your side, cradling your head, you can also use your right hand for balance as I'll show you here. What you want to do is lifting your leg up and slightly back, you're going to be turning your toe downward and then touching the ground and going back towards the wall. These are especially good for your hip abductors, so your glutes, all, all three of your glute muscles. And this really does help when you have knee pain. It's usually because your hips are weak, so it really uh, attributes to that. And I might be doing a separate video on that, so comment below if you'd like to see that. Now here's a bonus for you. I learned in some aerobic video I was watching a few years back. You can kick, you're doing a low kick, medium kick, and a high kick, and it's kind of just like a superset to really burn your behind. So give it a try, it really does work pretty well. And in between sides, In between sides, I'm going to be doing 40 bicycles. So these aren't quite as bad as crunches. Um, I'm trying to keep my spine stable other than twisting slightly through the thoracic. So it's not, it's not pulling up the neck too bad. I'm trying to keep everything pretty stable. And mostly the legs are just moving there. left side, 15 side leg lifts with that bonus superset. Kicking low, medium, and high. I believe I'm just doing five of these. It's burning. Next up is 15 wall push-ups. Now this is where you want to start if you haven't done push-ups in a while. So you want to start on the wall, hands about chest height, feet spread apart, and you're just going to be lowering your chest towards the wall. So this is kind of like the thing you want to do before you even try what most people call girl push-ups on your knees. I'll 
to show you from another angle here. And obviously if these are way too easy for you, um, after you do 20 or so of them, you are more than welcome to try it on your knees too here, which I didn't bend my knees, but still getting the same effect. And let's just go into a child's pose for a second. So you just rock back on your heels, stretch your arms forward, and just get a good stretch through the low back, through the arms. Next, um, I'm going to be doing 10 hip dips, so in a plank position, I'm going to be hitting my right side hip, then my left side hip, so kind of rotating. I'm doing this instead of Russian twists today. So you're just rocking right hip to left hip, right hip to left hip. And if it, this is too tough for you all the way up in a plank position, then go ahead and lower your knees and try it that way. This is one of the best exercises you can do for your abdomen, a plank. And we'll go back and stretch one more time. And that is it guys, that's it for today. Lazy day workout, randomly chosen from Pinterest. So as you can see here, I'm done, but I just, I do some crazy stuff sometimes. So I'm doing some weird stretches, <laughs> internal rotation of the shoulder just to get a good stretch after you are doing those planks. And we'll go ahead and end with uh, doing some breathing here. I love my yoga so much. It has changed my life. So this is a really nice um, for your shoulder blades to get a good stretch, open up the chest, open up your body. And here's the full version. So. I'll show you from the side here. Inhaling in, exhaling, bowing to the ground, bent over. Then I sit up with a flat back and then going back down and stretching. So that is, I love to do that one. It's great. So that's it guys. Thank you for joining me. See you soon. <laughs>